Hi there, welcome back to the Learn to Race video channel. Uh, we're going to just have a quick look around the actual rig today and see what we've got. So, uh, built into this, uh, I like to say, log cabin, a uh, posh shed in the garden. We move inside, just give a quick overview. We have the rig screen. around the walls, a bit of memorabilia, pictures of cars I've raced, driven, place I've been, always like that photo, that poster, it's um, on a visit to Sebring doing some work for uh, a manufacturer in America and uh, Derek Bell happened to be there on the day and it was my birthday and he was kind enough to sign the poster. Legend, legendary hero of mine, back from Group C days, which is what got me into motorsport in the first place. So we've got a little wheel collection going along on the back here, so we can try different wheels depending on uh, the car that's being driven or the client's particular preference. Some mild racing helmets and some trophies dotted around as well. So up here we have the actual projector, it's a GT1080 projector, uh, you can see we've got this big tube running along the ceiling which goes out of a vent in the ceiling, it needs a little bit of tidying up on that because it's hanging a bit low but that's just to get rid of some of the hot air particularly during the summer months even though the cabin is well insulated uh, it does get a little bit warm in here but the, the reason this projector was used was it's uh, relatively low in terms of latency and it was able to run in 3D, which was uh, a, a major consideration of mine when I first set the rig up a couple of years ago. Uh, I like to run in 3D because it gives me a better depth perception while approaching the corners. Some clients like to use it, some prefer the 2D effect. Uh, but as I mentioned in my last video, the, the new NVIDIA drivers have rather put pay to running stuff well in 3D, if at all. So uh, it looks like I'll be upgrading to a VR set in the future. So, on the back wall here, I'm just going to shut the door into the rooms to improve the image a little bit more. This is the screen we're projecting onto. Nice and simple. Uh, it's just two and a half metre wide piece of hardboard that's been, uh, or MDF rather, that's been painted a dark grey colour that helps improve the contrast and the black levels so it gives a more realistic image. And then we have the actual rig itself. So the seat was a Sparco Evo seat, which came out of a, a race car. Um, I was missing some of the padding, so I made some way around there, nice little padding. We've got the T500 wheel, which as you can see, I've got the Ferrari Challenge uh, wheel on it, but I've added my own 300 millimeter rim. So that gives you the wheel rim size that you get in most modern race cars. And that we've got the, the dashboard which is running off an old iPhone that uh, just gives all the information that you need. Uh, perfect for using AC. Um, haven't upgraded to uh, an ACC dash yet. Uh, seeing which way we go. If we go with the VR route in future then we won't need a dashboard. Uh, but the dash that we use here is perfect for clients. And then we've got the Fanatec pedals mounted down the front. The chassis itself fantastic Semitic chassis. Really really strong, really sturdy. Uh, it's the K2 system so if we do upgrade to a direct drive wheel in the future then there's uh, more than enough strength in the chassis to support that system. So at the moment I'm just running an old G25 shifter down the left hand side there um, but again looking to upgrade to a proper sequential in the future. Over the right hand side we've got all of the electronical stuff, so we've got the tower there, uh, so we're running a, a 1660 Ti card, an i5 processor, and then to the right of that we have two uh, audio units, the one at the bottom is the 5.1 surround sound system for the audio, so we've got the speakers dotted around the room excuse the mess with the cables um, and then above that we have 
the, uh, the amplifier for the bass transducer. Cool. So, thank you for watching the video. Uh, if you want to come and try the simulator for yourself, you're more than welcome to pop onto the learntorace.co.uk website and there you will see uh, how you can book sessions by the hour on the simulator. Um, or don't forget as well uh, to like and subscribe to the channel. We'll be doing lots of videos coming up all about uh, sim racing, different cars, different tracks, different programs and it's very much from the point of view of a driver from real life racing. So we won't necessarily be looking into the programs and how they work in terms of what's the single player experience like, how does the career mode work. We'll be looking purely at the driving physics and how they relate to real life uh, and uh, how useful they are in terms of being a simulator for real life driving. So if you want to keep an eye out for those videos please feel free to like and subscribe using the buttons below and we look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks a lot.